All right, what is up, guys? Tick here. Welcome to some Assassin's Creed Syndicate, the brand new Assassin's Creed game from uh, Ubisoft Montreal. I'm really excited about this one. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Assassin's Creed series. Uh, I've been a bit jaded with the series, especially with um, last year's edition. Uh, Unity uh, was just not a good game, in my opinion, and um, Ubisoft even sounded damn apologetic about it during this past year's E3. So. Um, it seems like they're in a mood to really make up for the m mistakes and issues that they had last year. Um, and that is getting me really excited um, for this particular game. That and the fact that it's set in London. <laughs> I was born in London, raised in London, and um, visit there almost like every year or every two years or so. Uh, I frequent back and forth there. Um, I'm really, really looking forward uh, to going back and seeing their vision uh, of London, and in particular a lot of the landmarks that I'm uh, really, really familiar with. Uh, so, um, let's get going here. If you're not familiar with Assassin's Creed, uh, it's basically a fictional war that has been going on for hundreds of hundreds of years between the good guys, the assassins, and the bad guys called the Templars. And uh, they basically have been fighting uh, or warring with one another for several hundred years and the Assassin's Creed games have kind of vaulted back and forth between different time periods like the Italian Renaissance, there was the American Revolution, last year's game was the French Revolution. This year's game takes place in 1850s London, Victorian London, Victorian England. Uh, so it would be, I guess 1850s would be towards the tail end of the Industrial Revolution. Um, and basically they um, this war is uh, is for artifacts called the Pieces of Eden, uh, which is basically magical artifacts that have been left behind by a pre-civilization society before humanity showed up. Uh, so we're basically fighting through time to find these Pieces of Edens. Uh, and the way we're fighting through time is um, through technology called the Animus. So the modern day bad guys, the Templars, also called Abstergo, and the modern day assassins, the good guys. Um, the assassins are hurting in modern day times. There's not too many of them left, uh, but they use the animus to kind of go back in time and access different people's memories um, to sort of find out where these pieces of Eden are. And in this game, we're playing as the brother and sister, Jacob and Evie Fry. So uh, let's get going here, I'm pumped. is your playground. Abstergo. Good old Abstergo. Override complete. Hello, Initiate. Hello. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop, Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Bex. Is that Rebecca? I've got a picture. ETA on the payload? Sending it now. That's Rebecca. That must be Sean. I'm gonna get I love Sean. On it ASAP. You look weird with a weapon. Let's plant a little bug and see what we can see. Got something. Isabel Ardant has a meeting here in a few hours. Uh, doesn't say with who. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. I suppose it's down to Muggins here to find out. Hold on. The mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now I am eager to try this new kit. <laughs> I don't like it when those two go off book like this. Well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the piece of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry. 
Twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. There we go. Brother George, it is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you, begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Wow. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Starrick, and he intends to rule the world. That stash, though. There is no aspect of society he does not control. No industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison. No person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. The queen? And so, as you look Is the queen a Templar? And dare I say it, afraid. Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond. To kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered. Though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you, time and time again. Whosoever controls London, controls the world. That was very true during this time period, actually. How great would it be if I could assassinate the queen? Amazing. Crawford Starrick is the main bad guy, it looks like. At least for now. Who's the guy talking, though? 1868, Croydon. The iron ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? No. What a question. All right. My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. <laughs> George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every route covered. And Is this Brother I George that the other guy was writing right to? Here. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. Chat later, George. We have a train to catch. Jacob! Evie! May the creed guide you, you vagrants! Poor man. More afraid than ever. Years have not been kind. Evie Fry, where do you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. go I think Ow. how long does he intend to go on like this Is this one of the targets He's disrupting the other workers his and get the machine fixed and send me some laudanum for my head coming right up it's a bit harsh Oh, look at the children down below working. Yeah, I'm really hoping that becomes a big, um, a big theme in this game because uh, around this time, 18, I need to invert. Let's do a bit of setting stuff. No. Sound option. Is there a master volume? Subtitles on. Let's turn all of this down just a bit.
Oh, there it was, controls. Uh, aiming, that was the one you wanted, I think. Yeah. No? No, that didn't do anything. They didn't give me an option to adjust any of this before I got into the game. Aiming Y axis inverted. Did I not just have that on? Down. Up is up. Down is down. That's not what I want. Up is still up. Down is still Okay. Weird. Maybe I can't change it at this moment? I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, so around uh, one of the reasons why London was doing so well at this point in time was um, hold on, I guess this is a basic tutorial. One of the reasons why it was I'm going to have problems with this camera. One of the reasons London was doing so, so well at this point was because a lot of the major corporations were able to run massive factories like the one I'm in um, very cheaply because of the uh, child labor force. The child labor force was... Oh, aiming, you idiot. There we go. That's what I wanted, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. The child labor force, uh, child labor in this period of time was a massive issue. Look at these little kids working away. Uh, it was a huge issue around this part of the time. There was a book and a movie. I think it was called Oliver Twist. I remember as a kid and just crying, just absolutely crying when I watched it. Um, because it was, it was pretty cruel and harsh conditions for a lot of kids, a lot of orphans especially, to be living in. Look at the, these machines. One of the things I'm really excited about is this game is obviously Assassin's Creed has always done uh, exterior buildings and architecture and all that kind of stuff really, really well. But I think for the first time, we've got an Assassin's Creed game which is really prioritized trying to get these interior of these buildings and factories and whatnot. I mean, look how cool this looks. So much of this technology was so, so far ahead of its time in the 1850s, which is why London really was the crown jewel. Um, did I drop down? There we go. Really was the crown jewel on the uh, on the world map, which is from the opening while you heard uh, that unnamed guy pretty much say, hey, whoever controls London pretty much controls the world. This was pretty much the precursor to the British Empire, which... Uh, which extended into Asia, the Asias, and the Americas. It was a very, very prosperous time for London and England as a whole, which is why, um, you know, where there's prosperity and wealth and all that kind of stuff, there's obviously people who want a piece of the pie. And that leads to corruption and so on and so forth, which is, I think, the premise of um, this game. Unless there's a problem. That door opens and I have my route to Ferris. I think it's time to create a problem. This seems, yeah, this seems like a bit troyally, which is fine. It's easy to forget that a lot of people haven't played these games. Oh. Uh, I appreciate how all these factory workers don't really give a damn about me just kind of walking around doing all sorts of sabotage -y stuff. Oops, sorry, kid. I do really hope the whole kid child labor thing becomes a uh, thematically a really big deal in this game because in Black Flag, which is overall a game I loved, uh, it really skirted around the issue of overall slavery. Whereas in this time period, child slavery was definitely a big thing. No one seems to care. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Here he comes. Watch all this. Which one of you is 
Me. Me. No, you won't, buddy. You're done. Our very first assassination. The sanitary inspector. This man is dead. You're the dead man. Run along now. Oh, combat tutorial X. Ouch. Press B when countered. Okay, so that's when the bar lights up over his over his head. Oh, so brutal. Break the defense, press A. <laughs> I already got the combat. Alright. Locate and assassinate Rupert first. I think I just did that, didn't I? Oh, I don't know how I did that. Or if he just put the hood on by himself. He just took it off again. So that guy was not Ferris then. The guy that we killed was not Ferris. Uh, he looks like he's up there. Okay, let's go that way. Um What am I aiming for here? Jump towards it and see what happens. That works. Free running feels as smooth as ever, which is great. Oh, so that lets me so A lets me change my hood. That's kinda nice. That's been a uh, fan request for a really long time. Hold right trigger, left, and then B. Oh, I like that. Detection in enemies who can see you will become suspicious. If you stay in their line of sight, they will become aggressive and attack. The man behind cover, move behind cover to lose enemies, and they will investigate your last known position. Fine. I can do that. Well, mate, have a look. I don't know why this guy's after me. I don't know what I did to him. Is he meant to be one of the owners or something in this factory? Alright, let's just kill him. Thanks for playing. Alright, so I can move around. Sorry, get out. I can move around. Any more defense? Should we fight this guy? You want him? loot. Oh, looting seems much quicker, which is nice. Looting has typically been an absolute pain in the ass in these games. We're just gonna beeline it towards the objective because I don't really want to fight these guys. Yeah, free running feels really smooth, as you would expect. Hello, pardon me. Alright. Where am I going? Someone's just seen me. Hey, move it. Gentlemen. So I'm assuming the level above their head means level... The number above their head means their level? This guy has a 1. They've all had 1s. Which I guess is what you would expect from a tutorial. 
These guys are all... Oh, I don't have much money on them. What are we doing right now? Are we opening this? We are opening this. What lies behind the door? Holy, look at that. Sneaking A makes you harder to detect and allows you to move faster. The stealth ring shows enemies above and below you. The stealth ring shows enemies above. Okay, by the position of the lines. We're behind cover. We'll left trigger to aim, then press right trigger to throw knives. Let's throw some knives. Sneak. Alright, Eagle Vision is back. Ooh. So was it left trigger? Thank you. Look at that. I mean, the technology. There's a massive like anvil, a massive forge. The technology in this time was so far ahead of anywhere else in the world, which is why London really was the crown jewel on the map. Just look at this. This is cool. Are those other bad guys? Yeah. You shits. Alright, we'll fight it. Why not? You just the only one here? Looks like he was the only one here. Alright, where are we going? We're going up that way. Um, let's just keep going around. Can we go around? Isn't that we can actually? It's over here. I actually read all the text on these signs. That's cool. If I wasn't streaming. I definitely spent some time checking that out. As usual, the people, the NPCs in this game are just kind of like walking around, completely ignoring the fact that there's dead bodies everywhere. That's always a bit of a gripe of mine with these games, but... You are dead, mate. I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine, thank you. I really liking the combat. It feels fast and snappy. And don't mind me, guys. Just a murder. Carry on, back to work. There was a guy low to my left, high to my left. Oh, okay. That is not what I was trying to do, but it worked out okay. All these kitties, man. Yeah, it was quite as definitely a difficult time to be a young orphan in this time. Or just a kid of a really unwealthy family. They used to send their kids here to work on really, really shitty wages. This will make me want to watch Oliver Twist again. Mr. Ferris, sir. The, uh, the lad in the factory should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine. But dock his wages. Yes, sir. What wages? So I think that was the kid or the guy that got hurt when he entered this factory? I think that's what they were talking about. Look at how awesome this section looks. 
This, oh, this is unbelievable to me. Alright, where are we going? The guy down there, you don't think he sees me. Uh, I lost control of my dude there for a sec. Yeah, let's not fuck around with that just yet. Ah, oopsie. How did he not die from that? And no one else is around. Should we just go? Let's go. Where am I? Where's the waypoint? Is it that way? Here we go. Staric and Coast. That's where we're trying to go. Are there any guards in here? The bunch over there. Let's try and not go that way. Not that I have an issue with fighting people. I just want to kind of get through this nice and quick. Entry points. Entry points show different approaches to reach your target. It makes sense. Well, there's two main entry points. Let's take the one up top. So we can avoid that guard. That and this entry point seems so much more interesting. A knighthood? Down you go. It is done. Oh? What did you accomplish, boy? A bolt loosened in Starrick's machine. A large bolt. But not enough. Your Grandmaster will fall. You assassins can circle London to your heart's content. The mechanism we have built has been going strong for a hundred years and will run a thousand more. It is the very city itself. We will take London from your hands. From Croydon? You lurk in the shadows like a coward. I doubt it. What? Like a souvenir token of the kill? It's kind of nasty. Why not take his pen or something? Hi, madam. Uh, 